Good morning. I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry. And first off, we're going to have our prayer time today. We want to pray for Tommy White. And we also want to pray for the needs of the ministry and for people with illnesses. We want to pray for Ernestine Owens. And we want to pray for her knee that's hurting and for her, her son's Paul's leg. So let's remember Ernestine and Paul. We want to pray for Randy Davis and his family and their ministry. Judy Parker, we want to pray for some health issues that she's having and for her family. Jean Holden, she has fell and hurt her back and it's some better. We also want to encourage you to pray with us this morning in this Christian video. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts, God, that we love you. God, I pray that we let your love shine out into this world today. God, keeping you in mind and, and your care and compassion for other people, God, let us show that in our lives today. God, we lift up these prayer requests that's been made mention of you, and we thank you, God, that these people would send in a prayer request to this ministry. And God, we ask for your benefits and blessings upon these requests and the ones that are being prayed about, those watching this video. God, we thank you and praise you for all of your goodness. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to read some scripture today from the book of John in chapter 2, verses 12 through 25. <clears throat> After this, he went down to Capernaum, he, his mother, and his brethren, and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of that house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was the temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them. And they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did commit himself unto them. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men. And he needed not that any should testify of a man, for he knew what was in man. <clears throat> this scripture tells uh, of Jesus' early ministry, where he took a uh, time, and he went to Capernaum, which was a place of his ministry headquarters. Uh, early on, and he was with his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days, but they had fellowship, and Jesus ministered with them and explained and told them many things uh, about his ministry and what was going to happen going forward. <clears throat> and when the Jewish Passover was taking place, in Jerusalem, he went up, or, or, or a higher elevation, to Jerusalem. 
This is the only account of, found in the Gospels of Jesus overturning the merchandisers' tables and, and, and uh, showing his displeasure of them turning the temple, temple into a place of commerce rather than a place of worship. I want to tell you and say something about that today. I know that, that there's a place for uh, revenue to be taken for the things of the Lord and for the things that are needed in our churches today. But we need to be careful and not let it turn into an activity of commerce, of how much we did here or how much we did there. What about how much we gave of ourselves to the Lord? How much time we spend worshiping? Where is our focus? Is it on money or is it on God? <clears throat> then the Jews, they sought a sign from him. And he told them that destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Of course they didn't understand that as they were looking literally at how long it took to build the temple. But Jesus was talking about his death and his resurrection in three days. And his disciples remembered this scripture after Jesus was crucified and had risen from the grave. <clears throat> Many believed upon Jesus' name for the miracles that he had done and was doing around them. Praise God for the miracles that he has done. Praise God for the signs that he gives us in our life. He tells us that he will never leave us or never forsake us. If you know Jesus as, as your Lord and your Savior, and you believe on his name, you believe on him and what he did on the cross and are saved, Jesus will bless you and help you in your life. Jesus will give you a new life, a regenerated forgiven life, a life knowing him as your personal savior. Thank God for that temple being raised in three days. Thank God that he come out of the grave and defeated death, hell, and the grave. Praise God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you don't know him, you can know him today. Today can be your day of salvation. Get down on your knees and pray to him or tell him that you believe in him and ask him to forgive you for your sins. Call upon the name of the Lord and thou shalt be saved. Thank you for being with us and praying with us today. God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.